let's have a look at a few more things about equivalent fractions. We're going to see that when it comes to fractions, multiplication and division makes everything easy. Addition and subtraction are the problem areas. Let me show you what I mean. If we say, for example, have a fraction like 3 fifths, you know pretty well that if I want to find an equivalent fraction, as long as I multiply or divide the top and the bottom by the same thing, I'll get an equivalent fraction. So, for example, I could multiply the top by 4 and the bottom by 4, and I'm going to get 12 over 20, and that's an equivalent fraction. It's equal to 3 fifths. And I can multiply by whatever funny thing I want to. If I multiply top by 101, as long as I multiply the bottom by 101, I'm going to get exactly the same fraction, an equivalent fraction. And, now this is the new bit, this works when we get to Algebra 2. If we take 3 fifths and we multiply top and bottom of the fraction by, let's say, x, we are going to get an equivalent fraction. So 3 over 5 and 3x over 5x are equivalent. The only thing you can't multiply through by, and x then can't be this either, is 0. Because if you multiply by 0, you wipe everything out. Division is equally well behaved. As long as we divide top and bottom by the same thing, we get an equivalent fraction. So 50 over 60, if I divide the top by 10 and the bottom by 10, I am going to get 5 over 6, which is an equivalent fraction. And story is going to be the same even when I get to algebra. Here I've got 5x over 6x. If I divide the top of the fraction by x, I get 5. If I divide the bottom of the fraction by x, I get 6. So 5x over 6x is equal to 5 over 6. Let's have a look at how problematic addition or subtraction can be. I've drawn here a half. Now the question is, if I take that half and I add the same thing to the top and the bottom, will I get an equivalent fraction? Let's try it with 3. If I add 3 to the top and the bottom, will I get an equivalent expression? Well, I get 4 over 5. Hopefully you can immediately see that half and 4 over 5 are not the same. And you can see that very clearly in the picture. So, adding the same to the top and the bottom does not give you an equivalent fraction. That means, even when you get into algebra, say if you had 1 plus x over 2 plus x, it is absolutely not the same as 1 over 2. So you can't simply cancel out the x's when you have a plus sign. And exactly the same will be true when you have a minus sign. So the interesting thing here is that when you have multiplication or division, it's much easier and you're allowed to do so much more in fractions than if you had addition or subtraction.